Hey guys, my name is Rosie and thank you so much for dropping by. This video is going to be on my Louis Vuitton MM agenda. It is in the Azure print and I've been in this planner for about a month now. I've actually had this planner since 2017, but like I just never really used it as an everyday carry. It was always like an extension type of planner where I would have a main planner and then have this um, with like extra inserts that um, I just only needed at home. But yeah, I fully set this up as my um, everyday carry. Um, the Azure print is currently unavailable right now. Um, so I think the only way you, you can get this is probably used. Um, but yeah, this is in pretty decent condition. Um, again, I got this back in 2017 and I actually bought this one used. But yeah, um, I'm so in love with it, you guys. It has everything that I need on the go. Um, I also have an extension planner as well. I'm still currently setting it up, but I will do that hopefully soon, just waiting for some other things to go in it. But yeah, I will hop to it. Um, in the front here, I have uh, just a memo card from Sessa V or a notes card from Sessa V. And then these are from um, Alibi Designs, and I will link all the shops down below as well. Um, these three are actually freebies um, on her blog, so I will just link um, her Instagram handle and the blog website. Um, this here is from Tall and Twine, and then this one here is a card from and Hun of March and then this clip here is from Sessa V. I try to keep the front pockets pretty simple. Um, for me it's really hard for me to decorate the Louis Vuitton uh, front agenda so I don't really know how to do it so that's why it's kind of like I don't know really bare. Um, in the front here I have this final of my name from Plan of Life to Love and this dot acetate here from Michaels. It's like kind of like a pinkish and then goes gold on the other side. I think it's really pretty as like an overlay over this dashboard. And this dashboard here, I actually made, um, not made, but I mean, I got the photo from Pinterest and then I printed it five by seven and then I just cut and punched it to fit personal size. So another aside, if you guys haven't watched my other videos um, for the Louis Vuitton agenda, um, it's pretty um, wide in comparison to other personal planners. So that's why I decided to use um, Michael's Recollections inserts. Um, they're seven millimeters wider than regular personal inserts. So um, they're just a little bit wider. If not that much wide it's only seven millimeters but for me it makes a difference so you can see here that i can still use a pen loop and it's still like wide enough for me to comfortably like use in this planner so yeah um so yeah <laughs> i don't use any other inserts except for recollections i am planning to buy more inserts um and scale it down like principles and scale it however but for now everything that's in here is from recollections well when it comes to inserts wise anyways i'll continue um i got this from sesa v it's like the 2020 calendar like you're at a glance so that's super handy to have and then um another one of those dashboards that i made um again i made it like seven five by seven and then i just trimmed and punched it to fit in my planner I have a cloth and paper sticky note. And then here, um, I made these two dividers. I just got it from like cardstock from Michaels and I just cut them down um, to fit. And then I put these tab stickers of to do's and weeklies from um, Planner Press. So I just like got that and placed it on. I have a whole bunch of um, sticker tabs that I still need to use, but these two tabs are like my most well, most used. So that's why it, those are the only two dividers I have here. And then the sticker here is from Notes and Sonder. A Grateful Heart is a magnet for miracles. So I thought that was really cute and it kind of like matched my color scheme. Um, this is my inbox. This 
sticky tab is from cloth and paper and I just put it on some paper vellum from Michael's and then this is just like my to do so this section is my inbox and to do's so I just have a running to do list here or if I ever think of something that I need to get done I just write it down and then there's it's not really pressing right now but just stuff that I just need to get done um, and then I have my YouTube ideas nothing fancy um, I have an I am enough um, card thing I think it's from cloth, cloth and paper I'm not really sure but I'm gonna guess it is and then on the back here are sticky notes that I actually printed myself on blank sticky notes and this template is actually from the peanuts planner co facebook group and it's under their files and it's an old freebie and what you do is just like download it from dropbox and like um there's like a template that, where you can you print out first and then um stick the sticky notes on and then you just print it and so yeah um this is like a to-do checklist i have no idea why i've never done this in the past it's like a recent thing i've seen other people do it but <laughs> I don't know I don't know why I haven't bothered but anyways I've done that and then this here is um, cloth and paper sticky notes um, memo sticky notes that my friend Rana actually like, helped print me print out my monthly and weekly routine so I keep it here um, on this jelly dash that I got from Amazon I just cut and printed it I cut and punched it to fit in my planner and then another dashboard that I got from Pinterest and then again scaled down to five by seven punch and cut and punched it and then more of the cloth and um, more of the peanuts planner code sticky notes and then I have this like um, pink um, like tab sticky note it kind of like looks like this I have them here I put them in this um, like dashboard thing that I got. I have no idea where I got this from. I think I got it from the dollar store. But anyways, um, I just placed it here so I know like this is my finance section. And then it just has like my March bills like um, here laid out. I know it's kind of tedious to um, write all of my bills out every month, but sometimes they change. And I like to see my, my all my bills on like one page. So that's that. And then Again, I printed um, more sticky notes from Peanuts Planner Co. And then for every page is a month of um, worth of a month. Um, each page is like where I wrote list out all of my bills. And then I have like a sticky note of the month right here. So I don't have to be flipping back and forth. I can just refer to the whole month like this. I love these sticky notes. Um, I just printed them out like a few, like a week ago. So I really love them. I really love them and then I print out the whole year and those are like from June till like December and then here is another dash from um, that I made and on the back here is from cloth and paper so just for myself there's no rhyme or reason why I have all these sticky notes behind my dashboards but um, I try to have it so behind every like photo dashboard except for the first one is a sticky note so like if I was really on a crunch and like needed a sticky note I just like would turn to any dashboard and there's like a sticky note right there and then I have another vellum from Michaels and then I have important events um, I like to plan this is for my daughter's um, second birthday so that's that and then so that's all of my to do's I have my running to-do list I have my sticky notes like routines and finances and like event planning and so that's all in the front um, uh, of just things that I just need to, to do and then it goes straight into my weeklies and so here's another sticker from notes and sonder on like the cardstock um, divider that I made and then another um, dashboard that I printed and this is a weekly tracker from peanuts planner co I'm currently not tracking anything but um, since I was printing a whole bunch of these sticky notes I decided to just put them on here just in case I've noticed that like I'm not a very good tracker like <clears throat> I always want to start tracking and then I just like fall like I just fail like I just fall off the bandwagon and I don't continue on with it so I'm just not a tracking type of person that I found and then another Michael's um, vellum and then these recollections inserts so what I did because I'll show you like a blank month so let's go to August um, for a blank month you have notes and thoughts and then it goes straight to the month it's like undated so you have to write it and then it goes straight through the weeks so you can't split up your months and weekly so what I did was because that was the case I used these Hobonichi sticker tabs 
from the style planner and I use them um, as my like stickers for my tabs for my mats because the whole Nietzsche is also like that. Um, it just goes, well, not almost like that, but I mean like it goes straight through the weeks. There's no break in between the months. They have all the monthlies in the front and then all the weeklies um, consecutively. So that's why I thought like, you know what? I have these extra Hobonichi stickers. Why don't I just use them? So that's what I've done. And so, um, I put my notes and thoughts. I usually do a January poll. I haven't done it for, I didn't do it for March yet, but what I like to do is do a, like a one card poll, like what to expect for January or expect for the month or what was this? Um, like just stuff that I need to keep in mind for the month. And then I also do a, a January lesson. So like, what should I have learned from the month? And then I do that every month, but I have yet to do it in March. It's already like freaking March um, 13th. Maybe I should, well, I'm not that late, but yeah. Um, I took out most of the um, weekly, like weekly inserts for January and February, but I will show you, um, one that I'm currently doing. So I keep all the, I keep all the, like the months and the polls, like my tarot polls in my planner so I can always reference them. But for the weeklies, I just like, I was planning to store them, but I never looked at them. I've been storing these, like these in used inserts since 2016, 2015. I haven't yet to look at them. So I just like trash them. So <laughs> Um, but yeah, this is last week's and, um, I was pretty minimal last week, but this is this week. I use stickers from, uh, Planner Monkey Co., um, like from her minimal line. Um, and then I also have, um, this cloth and paper, um, like half insert size. So what I, how I use it is <clears throat> I have like my March to do's, like my goals for March. And then in the back here, anything that I need to break down uh, for the month. So what I do is I would just pull this and then I just move it from week to week. And then when I start a month, what I do is I do my, oops, I do my um, planning for the month. And then I'm like, okay, well, like I want to get this, this, and this done. Or for this week, I need to get this done. And all that and it just follows me throughout the month and I feel like that's the best way instead of going back and forth or having things divided or having your goals or your monthly to do's on like one page at least it's all on like this thing and it just follows me throughout the month so I think like I'm just really loving it I think it's like the best way for me to like actually hit my goals and actually like meet my to do's for that month but yeah, I um, have like my high level like events on here on the on the side here. That's how I divide my weeks, and then I put my to dos on here like my daily to dos, and then I have like a month to do here and things that I think of like in the future, things for me to do for the following weeks or like what I would like to get done for like this week, the first week, the second week, third week, fourth week, and fifth week of March. So. That's how I plan, um, but yeah, I, I find that it's really working. So this is what a blank um, week looks like, and then it goes all the way to December, and I like to have a whole year in my planner. I used to plan like this way, way back in like 2016, 2017, all my answers are together, and in the past couple of years, I haven't been doing that, and I just miss it. I just miss having a whole year in a planner, so I decided to do that again this year. And I think that's why I wanted a Hobonichi. And then after using it for a couple weeks, I'm like, you know, it's not really working. Like, I just don't like the way it looks. And it's just, I'm really confined to this space. So I just need a ring planner. So I decided to move back into rings after the Hobonichi. But anyways, after my week section, uh, it goes into like my note section. So just like another sticky note from Peanuts Planner Co. <coughs> And um, an add to planner type of thing that I want to add into the planner. Um, I have this cute little cardstock that I cut and punched to fit my planner. And then I have this sticker here from Notes and Under. It's actually like a cardstock die cut, and I just taped it on because I thought it was really cute. Um, Superpower is surrendering what was by releasing it from the emotional grip of your heart and allowing yourself to grow into what is meant to be is more than just incredible strength. It's a matter, I can't, fucking superpower. 
man i'm so blind but yeah i love that it's so it's super cute so i put it in here um another uh vellum with like blank sticky notes here and then it goes into like my my lists and notes section so i have my louis vuitton wish list i have a d stash list i have vancouver packing list and just a place for me to like ramble the brain dump so um me to keep my list and then this section here is like well for this dashboard is another one that I printed and punched and cut to fit and then the back here is a cloth and paper sticky note and then this section is my password so I'll skip over that and then another section um, another dashboard with a Poi and Han sticky note on this like vellum from Michael's of important contacts I have yet to fill it out and then the back here is just like um, holds all my like most used stickers so cloth and paper stickers actually not most used I haven't even used that but these um planner monkey code stickers that um I really use and then those loose cloth and paper sticky notes and the back here I think is more um this is my most used cloth and paper stickers like the rose cornered ones and then I have um just like I think it's like my health thingy i won't open it but yeah that is my louis vuitton um everyday carry planner um the shadows are kind of weird today so i'm filming in a new spot so hopefully it didn't really bother you but yeah um that's it you guys so thank you so much for dropping by if you enjoyed this flip please think about liking the video and even subscribing that's even better but yeah, thanks again for watching, you guys. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. I usually, like almost, almost, I do reply to them. And yeah, until next time, you guys. Bye.